Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export a composition as either a PNG or a JPEG sequence using the render queue. Exporting your After Effects composition as a JPEG sequence, which will have a background, or a PNG sequence, which supports transparency, will export each frame in your animation as an image file. You can then take the individual image files or the frames for your animation and place them in Adobe InDesign or Photoshop or Canva, where you can then print each frame, then you can hand color or draw on them and scan them back in to create a hand-drawn mixed media style animation, or you can just digitally color on them using Photoshop, Procreate, Fresco, etc. And I just wanted to give a shout out to this YouTube channel by Alan Pun. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel and to this excellent tutorial, which served as an inspiration for the example that I would use for this tutorial. The number of JPEG or PNG image files that are exported are determined by your composition settings. So my composition is 1080 by 1920 pixels but the settings to determine how many individual files are going to be exported or how many individual files you might be hand drawing or hand painting on are the frame rate and duration. I have the frame rate set to eight frames per second. For every second of animation, After Effects is going to export eight frames or eight individual image files. If you multiply the frame rate time the duration, that is going to tell you how many individual image files are going to be exported. So in my case, the frame rate is eight, time the duration of five. So I know that After Effects is going to export 40 individual image files, whether I export as a JPEG or a PNG image sequence. Okay, so first you're gonna create your composition. You're gonna choose the width, the height, the frame rate, the duration, then you're gonna build your animation. And when you're ready to export, you're gonna to go to the top menu, go to File, Export, and choose Add to Render Queue. Go to Output Module, click the link, then go to where it says Format. I'll click this dropdown, choose JPEG Sequence if you want the exported files to be JPEG images, or choose PNG Sequence, which is going to work best if you have a transparent background. So I'm gonna click that, and I also need to go to Channels, click the dropdown, and change it to RGB plus Alpha. Alpha is the channel that holds all of the transparency info. And one little bonus tip that I just wanna point out, you can tick the box Resize, make sure you have the Aspect Ratio locked, and you can tell After Effects the exact dimensions that you want the frames to be exported as. This is particularly useful if you have a template created in InDesign or Photoshop where you're resizing the images, where you can just tell After Effects the exact dimensions just to make it easier and speed up your print workflow. I'm going to uncheck that and then click OK, go down to where it says Output to, I'll click this link, I'm just gonna save to my desktop, I'll click New Folder, give the folder a name, click Create, give it a name at the top, and click on Save. And to render and export the PNG sequence, I'm gonna click render in the top right corner. You'll see a progress bar, it should be pretty quick. There's the folder on my desktop. Inside the folder are 40 individual .png image files. As I scroll through using my arrow key, it's basically creating a frame by frame animation. I created a new document in Adobe InDesign sized at eight and a half by 11 inches. I put six frames on each page, and since I had 40 frames, it took a total of seven pages. I then printed one of each page. I got out my crayons and markers, I colored all 40 frames, then scanned the sheets into my computer. I brought everything into After Effects, I created a new composition for each page that I scanned in, I manually changed each frame to fill up each frame, I created a master comp where I placed all seven individual compositions until I had a finished animation. And that is how to export a PNG or a JPEG sequence in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.